would like to demonstrate how to complete a SOAP document for an existing Superbill record. Once you've logged into the system, locate the Superbill section and specifically the search area. Once the Superbill list is displayed, you will note the action SOAP icons in the far right hand column. There are two distinct icons underneath the SOAP column. One is the down arrow over top of a file bin folder. This action icon indicates that you may open an existing SOAP note that's attached to the Superbill record. Just to demonstrate, we will open this record, opening a new tab with that existing SOAP note record. Close that tab to return to the Superbill list and back under the SOAP column, locate the next icon, which is the icon representing a small person or individual. This icon represents the option to convert to SOAP note. Also note on this row and record, that icon indicates there is no existing SOAP note for this super bill. The same for these super bills here with the same icon. For any Superbill record without an existing SOAP documentation, all we need to do is click on that SOAP Convert to SOAP Note action icon. This will begin and load the SOAP generator. You may please note and verify patient information in the upper left hand corner. The date of service will carry over from the Superbill record from which we started this SOAP generation process. Underneath Subjective, you may set the complaint, severity, pain in the last 24 hours, whether deteriorated or improved, and under the type of pain, note various options. You may also select the Select All or Unselect All. In this case, we'll select some individual items. Painful activities, same. And anything that might interfere with daily activities. If this particular visit is associated with an injury, click yes, set the type of injury, and a date for the injury. On the right side, under the diagrams, you may locate different locations of pain. If you make a mistake, you may clear that, those diagrams and re-enter the pain location. Click Next to move to the Objective section. Select an objective area. In this case, we'll choose lumbar. Using the abbreviations here, we are going to choose tenderness, weakness down the midline. If you need to choose an additional objective area, you may do so now. And if you wish to remove an area that you've added by mistake, you may use the minus sign to remove that objective area. You may also fill in text information as necessary for pulse, tongue, etc. Moving to assessment, select your diagnosis. In this case, since we're generating a soap note from an existing Superbill record, that diagnosis will automatically populate from the Superbill record. From the Prognosis drop-down, select a Prognosis. Click Next. Under the Plan section, select from the current descriptions. And again, add any additional notes as necessary. Click Next to move to Treatment. The treatment patient type will carry over from the existing Superbill. Existing office visit codes and E&M codes will transfer as well, along with any additional procedure codes associated with that Superbill and visit. Add any additional provider notes as necessary. Today's response from treatment, prognosis, and currently being seen frequency. 
underneath E and M time, you will need to supply the E and M time representing the complexity for this visit. This is the total amount of time that was involved with this particular visit. This may include time after and beyond the actual patient face-to-face -face encounter time, any additional research time, etc. Within the time spent with patient face-to-face, -face, you need to enter the specific amount of time where you were actually in directly in contact with the patient, him or herself. Provider signature should already be filled in. You may at this point either save the note and come back later to complete the note. In this case, we are going to go ahead and sign, put in a date, and we will use today's date as the date signed. We will submit. This will give us a preview of the note information we just entered. Once verified, we will hit complete. This will now return us to the SOAP note section. Note the new SOAP note record entered today for the date of service, 3.30. Noting the, indica the indicator shows that the note, SOAP note is signed. And from here, let's go back to the super bills and look at our super bill record for, again, date of service, 3.30. Going to the right underneath the SOAP column, we will note that our action icon has changed from the little person to the arrow over the file bin folder, indicating that the SOAP note is now here and attached to this particular super bill. And we can open that SOAP note by simply clicking on that action icon, and that will allow us to view that SOAP note associated with that super bill record. And we will close that tab. And that concludes how to generate a SOAP note for an existing Superbill record.